guys, so today's video is going to be a nail polish haul, but it's going to be a little bit different. This is a haul of the Essie polishes that are available for the Lily Pulitzer for Target collection, which I was confused about at first, but these are all Essie polishes that exist outside of this collection, so they're like Essie staples, popular ones, just ones that they pulled to put to like re-release in this Lily Pulitzer for Target collection. So I saw the commercial where they're like handing out Essie polishes on trays and I was like, ooh, what is this commercial for? And I like figured it out and I'm really excited about it and it's a pretty good like collection. I've been saying Essie has been doing a really good job of like making their entire collections tie in together as a whole and they just look really satisfying when you look at all of them and I feel exactly that way about this collection collection and uh, yeah I just wanted to share I got a couple requests to do this so I will say I am so confused on whether the Lily Pulitzer is already available for Target or if it's not so if it is you can find these at Target and if it's not available yet it will be soon because it has to be coming out soon right <laughs> so let's just get going with the polishes and amazingly enough Essie sent me this collection this is not a sponsored video but they did send me this collection to review um, and amazingly enough, I didn't have any of them, which is weird because I have kind of kind of a lot of Essie polishes now So that's cool for me. <laughs> so the first one is an off-white cream, which you guys know are my faves This is called baby's breath I've definitely heard a lot about this polish never really seen it in real life until you know now it is a opaque polish once you give it two or three coats and again, it's kind of just like off-white, creamy, little bit of pink, but m like mainly just like a beige off-white color. I'm very pleased that it did turn opaque. Um, I bought Essie Marshmallow hoping it would be opaque because I really liked the color of that polish, but it just was not opaque enough. But this is definitely opaque and uh, definitely stands out. And you guys know I love a good creamy color. That sounded creepy and gross. This next one I like a lot. This is called Borrowed and Blue. Again, a name I've heard a lot about when people are talking about Essie. This at first I thought was going to be Find Me an Oasis, which was a release from their resort collection last year. Um, I actually like this one a little bit better. I may even get rid of that one and keep this one because I don't think I need both, but this is just a very light powder blue, just, you know, kind of almost white, but it's like actually blue. You guys know what color I'm talking about. Really nice, opaque with just two coats. You didn't even need three and uh, it's just beautiful, so nice. I really like these next two. This one is called Where's My Chauffeur, one I've also heard a lot about. I'm, I can probably stop saying that because I feel like it's gonna be like this for every polish, but this is this reminds me a little bit of Mermaid's Tears, but it pulls a little more uh, like Tiffany blue turquoise color. It just looks a little more blue than that polish. I think it's really, really pretty. I think it's gonna be amazing for summer if I even get like a little hint of a tan. I feel like this is just gonna make it pop so much more. And ugh, too good. This one I've like almost bought before. This is either a year old or two years old, but I remember when it came out, it was very popular on YouTube. Like, I remember Miss Glamourette's talking about it, Amarique's talking about it, like everybody talking about it. And this is called First Timer. Yeah, like Essie First Timer was in so many videos. It's like in my brain forever. But it's just a really pretty light green color. It is... I, like, I don't even know if I have anything like this. I mean, of course I have like light-ish green colors, but this may be like the most flattering that I have. And I'm just so excited to try it in summer. Again, oh, this is a major toenail polish color. I'm weird with green nail polishes, but this to me seems like it would be flattering because it's like the right shade of green pulls a little more blue than it does like brown green. Um, it's just bright and it's fun and it just ties in with the, like these four colors, hold on. These four colors to me look so satisfying and aligned, like, ugh, just so pretty. I wish I was like good at nail art and I could do like an ombre nail with all four of these. <laughs> but yeah, this is so totally pretty, can't wait to try it. And uh, apparently it's really popular, so hopefully I see why it's popular. Next is the one darkish color of the collection, but it's still bright. This is called Mes Mesmerized? Yes, Mesmerized. And it's this really pretty dark yet bold, bright, navy-ish blue. Um, you'll see in the swatch it definitely does pop, even though it's, I mean, you can tell in the bottle it's dark, but it definitely has like a pop neon-ish bright effect to it, even though it's not neon. Um, really pretty. I love blue nail polishes, so I will definitely give this a whirl. So yeah. Next we have the glitter of the collection. I've been wanting this, so I was really happy it was in this collection so I could get it. This is called Golden Nuggets. I have not looked at the name until right now. I did not know it was called Golden Nuggets. Oh my gosh. This is just basically a really standard gold glitter top coat. It has a clear base coat to it with a 
lot of um, fine cut gold glitter, which when it comes to glitter nail polish, I prefer the fine cut instead of the chunky glitter that OPI has been doing recently. Um, I just prefer them like this. I, I'm just old fashioned that way. <laughs> but yeah, this is really pretty. Um, I did a swatch with it of, uh, by itself with three coats. I don't think this is one to wear by itself. You definitely should put this on top of something else or on top of your ring finger for an accent nail. But again, it's a really nice standard gold glitter top coat polish. <laughs> Next is Capri, which I've definitely heard of. Um, on camera, it looks a little more red than it is. It's very orange in person. It reminds me a little bit of Rorange, but, but Rorange is like a little darker, a little better if I am allowed to say that. <laughs> this is a good polish. It's just not my favorite orange um, that I've ever received, but um, it was opaque in two coats, very bright, very summery. It, again, it looks like a tomato red color. Maybe when I'm editing, it'll look different, but um, yeah. There's that one. Then we have two pinks, and my one complaint for the collection would be to switch out one of these pinks and add a red. Um, I think that Essie Watermelon would have been amazing in this collection. That's one of my favorite ones. Or just a good basic red. I feel like it's spring and summertime. It's time for red nail polish. I mean, it's always time for red nail polish, let's be real. But I think a nice bright summery red would have been good instead of having two pinks that look very similar to each other. But regardless, they're still both beautiful polishes. This one is called Forget Me Nots. I really like this one. It's kind of like... Oh, ugh, I love pink polish. I have such a problem. It's kind of like a Barbie pink, but muted down a little bit. It's gorgeous and was beautiful with two coats. Like, I love Essie's formulation. Like, it's just so nice and even and creamy with two coats. And then the other pink is called Pansy, which is a fun name. This is more of like a bright, hot pink. Um, a little bit more summery, I guess, but uh, still very similar. Um, like, we could have used a red. <laughs> but again, still very beautiful colors. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Hopefully, my next nail polish video will be a full collection review of the OPI brights that are coming out. Um, I am... Oh, this is a good time for nail polish, guys. Actually, when is it not? Let's be real. I will have all these linked down below if you want to order online and not go into a store, but um, if you are at Target, you should be able to pick some of these up, hopefully now. I was just confused when looking up, looking it up online, so leave me a comment down below if it's already out or if you know when it's coming out, but it should be available soon, so I wanted to share. I love you guys. I'll see you very soon. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you soon. I feel like I said that a thousand times. I love you. I'll talk to you later, and uh, yeah, bye!